Hey guys, Kano from Kato Fishing World. On today's Kato Tackle Talk, I'll be talking you through a revised uh, stinger hook method. This time it's for game species. Before I did it on uh, small species like your brim and flathead, but now I'm going to be talking you through jewfish and snapper and all that sort of things. So what I found the other day when I was fishing this uh, Zerik Shad uh, paddle tail, I was getting a lot of tail wax and not actually hitting the hook and, and hooking themselves. So tail wax is where they grab hold of the tail but not, not hitting the hook. So the best method is to come up with a stinger hook. So your normal stinger hooks are these sort of things that you buy from the shops. Uh, they're about five to ten dollars depending on what brand you buy. These are the Murasami or um, Shout hooks I buy from Viva Fish and Tackle. But you can make your own as well. But I'll run you through hooking this onto the shad and methods I do of doing that first before I run you through making your own. So first thing you need is some soft glow beads. These are in the uh, four by six millimeter. So you grab two of them out. Get two. All right. So first, I just dropped the glow bead. First glow bead, you want to chuck over your hook. So you can see there. It'll be a little bit tight to push it over, but that's what you want. So push it all the way around. Grab your stinger hook. Chuck it in. And then I'll grab the bead that I just dropped. And then you chuck the other bead over the top. Be careful not to sting yourself with the hook while you're doing it. So what this does, once you put the Zerik back on, here we go. This is a weedless hook, perfect and hidden weight as well. So then all you need to do is just adjust your stinger hook so it sits a little bit lower because if you just have it floating around it'll actually get stuck on your paddle tail so if you the glow beads pretty much stop it and leave it there and that way when the fish do hook onto the sting hooks they can't bring it back over the hook and you lose the fish and the hooks um, the other way is to make your own this is a lot cheaper and a lot easier so that way you can buy say 50 uh, eagle claw hooks like these ones this is the small ones that I use for brim and flathead but you can can get your bigger hooks as well as long as they've got a straight bar and a straight eyelet then you can work your own so same thing again I've got a, a glow bead onto another eyelet as well and basically you hook it over your plastic as well so all you need to do is just put get a little bit of leader a couple of hitches or tie your knot exactly onto your hook and then a, a hitch knot onto your eyelet and that's basically your stinger hook. Nice and easy you can chuck it on pretty much all plastics even your wriggle tails just shorten up your uh, line if you need to chuck it on a wriggle tail because if it comes close to that wriggle tail as it's spinning around it will get snagged onto it but at least then it'll stop most of your short bites so you can use this on all lessery species, even uh, your Queensland species like barramundi or uh, trout or anything like that. At least it'll stop most of your, of your short bites. So do try it out. If you have any questions, uh, comment in the link below or hit us up on Facebook. Thanks guys.